This is uh, Bob from Yacht Com Testing, and uh, as you can see, we're playing with a fluorescent light uh, which flashes when I talk, uh, and a power meter. Let's uh, see what happens on uh, 36 megahertz. And when we uh, press the microphone button, as you can see, the uh, fluorescent light comes on, and uh, the needle down in the bottom right hand corner goes up to indicate we're running about 100 watts. That's on 80 meter armband. Okay, now we're transmitting on um, 7.1 megahertz, 40 meter armband. You can see down in the far right hand corner the needle going up and down as I keep pressing the button, but the uh, fluorescent light not coming on or off. So we're now at the current point of the antenna. So I touch the aerial, not a problem at all. Keep finger on it, not even getting warm. Okay, now we're transmitting on 14.1 uh, megahertz, 20 meter armband. You can see the, uh, the present light coming on. Uh, I'll touch the end, but I'm expecting to get it to uh, feel it quite hot. Oh shit! <laughs> and it is quite hot. <laughs> and finally, we're now transmitting on 21.2 uh, megahertz. Uh, my finger's still a little bit burnt from the RF burn I just got. Uh, the needle's going up and down at the bottom here. Uh, fluorescent lights aren't coming on. I'll use my other finger, but you can see I can keep my finger on it now. No problem at all. Uh, not uh, getting warm at all. So if the fluorescent light's not on, you can touch the aerial. If the fluorescent light is on, you can't touch the aerial. The fluorescent light will only come on at the voltage point of the antenna, not at the current point of the antenna. And going from uh, 7 megahertz to uh, 14 megahertz half your wavelength it moves the voltage point from the vo voltage point to the current point but uh, no problems on 21 megahertz